Well, this is Dan. I'm back at the homestead. Um, trying to get my power pulled. My ditch is full, so that's pretty neat. Pulling uh, 400 amp service. Clear back to a meter base right there. We're still undecided what we're going to do here. It does have an existing house. It was built in 1920, according to the county. Maybe you guys can put your input whether I should save it or bulldoze it. We'll take a tour inside. Some of the things that I don't like about it is uh, it's right on this busy highway and people fly up and down it. So that's problem number one. It needs a new roof. Probably be a gut job. Still has the old wooden single pane windows. Somebody over the years has overlaid another panel of glass to try to make them double pane. Uh, this is my wife's family's homestead. I guess it would be her great grandpa. That would have built it. There was five, he had five daughters. They were all born um, inside this house. Most of them, I think there's only one that's still living. Uh, one of the things that's a problem, a detractor anyways for me, these are some of the hugest uh, maples that I've ever seen. I mean, they I don't know if you'll get a scope on video, but that branch there is well over two foot through. Uh, there's one here that's growing up over the house, so it would have to be uh, cut back considerably. I don't think it would kill it. But it sure wouldn't probably wouldn't do it any good. I don't know. I think this is an old oak here. That's not really in the way, but it's a cool tree. And then here's two more maples that are hanging out over the house. So all those branches, probably the two of the main branches right there that would have to come off. Um, here's the third one pretty cool trees um, having them there you know we would want to have a porch back here but that's really going to impede the ability to do that I think there's maybe eight feet of space there from the house it's got a hole in the roof over here uh, matter of fact some branches come down on top of it some more if you can see that right uh, there. Well, let's take a look inside. It's actually not as bad as it looks on the outside, I don't think. The old pump house. And right there's the new pump house. the back porch this is an add-on near as I can tell Ooh, I haven't even been up in the attic might be something cool up there I haven't even looked in these cabinets oh, smoke detector I can't believe I haven't looked out something 
building a house in there. Doesn't look like anything cool in here. Old newspaper. Wonder what year that's from. Uh, 1988. Even came with a dandy uh, dryer, oh, washer. Freezer works, still plugged in. So, like a lot of old houses, there's some funkiness going on. This is the stairs going up into the attic. Comes across the bathroom. I think the power even works in here. Let's see. Yeah. And look at that custom shower. Pretty sweet, huh? Sink's probably worth some money to somebody. Don't know. I don't know anything about the septic here if it even works. I didn't want to turn the power on or the water on in here. Um, just had a bad ice storm here, so I'm glad it wasn't on to the house. Why it doesn't work in here? So this is one bedroom. I'd say it's probably. I don't know, maybe 10 by 10. Some cool old doors. I'll save those no matter what happens. I like the old registers in here too. Um, this would be kind of like a dining room, I guess. Uh, there's the living room in there, something kind of neat here. I'll save these. If I can get them open. Just a sitting bench. And the window again. Here's the old wooden windows. Got the ropes with the window weights inside the wall. We'll loop back around, built in hutch. It's like maple plywood. Be my guess. Tall ceilings. I think the ceiling's got to be about 10 foot tall in here. So that's kind of cool. Could probably live in here. I don't know. I'd have to, for temporary, I'm staying in a camper while I'm over here, but I'm glad I negotiated the uh, pea green. Maytag is probably top notch in its day. The matching stove. Uh, the chimney comes from the basement. It's this steel right here. Comes in behind the stove. That's where there's that wonky little uh, offset there. So the chimney goes clear up through the attic. And the stove was down in the basement. We'll go down there and check that out. But it's got a built in hutch. Um, it's the view out to the orchard where I have the ditch dug for the power. I haven't even really looked in the cabinets in here. Maybe some treasure. Well, pretty well cleaned out. I don't know what that is. Like some keys. Hmm. Let's see if this, uh, Ooh, it's on, it's work. She still works. Maybe I'll hose it down. It'll be the beer fridge in the garage. There you go, Troy. If you're watching, I'll have a spot for you to put your Keystone lights. Uh, let's see. I can't believe I haven't looked in any of this yet. Wow, she's turnkey ready to go. Look at that bad boy. Huh, 
All right, well, we'll sneak in, go back through the dining room. So this would be the living room. Now here's the front porch. Well, I think it's been so wet here that it doesn't want to open. So we'll sneak through that way. You can see that. Another cool register. No heat, I think it used to have gas heat. That's been unhooked. May still be there and work. There's several gas furnaces. So in here, we just got the wire stubbed, pulled out of the walls. Um, this would be right above, or right below where the, where the roof has a hole in it. And I don't see any uh, water intrusion in here. There is a puddle on the floor though, so. Not sure where that's coming in at, but again, it's probably 10 foot by 10 foot room and it's got the eight inch asbestos tile. So that's neat. Well, let's go poke around and take a look upstairs. Turn this light off. Tell you what, I'm gonna put you guys on hold and go grab a flashlight. But boy, you can feel the cold air coming through there. Those there's a pane busted out of the window. I'll be right back. Okay, grab the flashlight. Let's go take a peek upstairs. Might not even need it after all that. So Here's the chimney. Well, looks like a couple of them. Looks like the that one is the active chimney and this maybe was abandoned. I'll have to look out on the roof and see. Looks like they didn't believe in masking tape when they painted this place. At least it's got a nice, uh, what the heck is that? Huh, looks like a bow for a fiddle, maybe? I don't know. That'd be my guess. I'm not sure. Here's the uh, upstairs kind of bedroom. I'm not sure if this one would quite make 10 by 10. As you can see the see the outside right through that hole. I just dug into these houses and before and I believe it'd be a can of worms. There's some other challenges here uh, that it's facing. We'll go through. Yeah, look at the floor is buckled. I suspect from water getting in here. Somewhere right back in there this is a hole in the roof. You could see quite a bit of mold. So the nice thing is, is I could just get in here and tear this sucker off from the attic. But you can see the water in there. That's right above that last bedroom that had the water on the floor. This must be over the front porch. Be my guess. All right. Actually, not too bad up here. I've seen a lot worse. Kind of cool. Still has. Well, that's not it, but it's still got some pretty old wiring in here. That's uh, no longer 
hooked up. Here we're getting into it again. I guess the wiring is not as old as the switch, but that's a fairly old light switch. The old ceramic insulators. Again, probably not as old as what it originally had. All right. Let's go down in the basement. Let's see. Rotten stairs. Kind of curious um, if the basement, boy, everything is hard to open. Let's see if the light, oh, light still works here. Um, yeah, this is a problem. Looks like uh, somebody is still living here. They left their uh, walnuts and uh, filberts. I haven't found the filbert tree yet, but I see a lot of them, a lot of evidence that there is one here. So, let's see if I can make it down these stairs. Not as bad as I thought it would be down here, but there's definitely some water. Again, here's the old chimney. Uh, for their wood stove, they had it where they would load it. There. It must have sat here. Plugged in there. Here's an old stove. Kind of cool. Man, if I can get that thing out and put it in the shop, that would be awesome. That's a heavy duty. Yeah, that's that's not a a 55 gallon drum. That's a big piece of probably eh, Maybe half inch, three eighths inch wall pipe with a secondary burner up top. Yeah, how cool is that? Getting it out of here. I think the house was built around it. And they had a propane furnace there that's been gutted. Probably take the squirrel cage fan out of it though. Use that for some future project. All the ductwork's insulated. The floor's insulated. Looks like newer ductwork. Boy, look at that spider. How cool is that? Huh. Sidetracked. Okay, so the big looming problem... Probably the biggest problem with this house is that, you know, you see it's got a really nice concrete wall here. It's got some foundation cracks, but I don't know that it's anything of huge concern. But the biggest problem is it's sitting on a knee wall that is uh, two by four. So the whole house, we must have jacked it up at some point i don't know well i guess there's some two by six but uh it looks like a good spot for the cats to get in under the porch huh anyways yeah i would have to get in here it's got a center support beam system i have to come in and do something similar to that on both sides and jack this house up block it and set it back down so kind of a new saying i've been saying in life is just because you can doesn't mean you should and this may be a prime example of that 
So, I'd be interesting to be interested in hearing your thoughts on the matter. I don't know what that is, but it's cool. This is under the living room. So, I don't know how deep those walls go. Probably not very deep. So, that's the house. Bulldoze it or rebuild it. I've been flipping quarters in my head, asking myself that same question since we got the place. Thanks for uh, taking the tour. I'll do a, another video of kind of our loose plans for this property and some, some things we're thinking we're gonna do, including a pond, uh, water wheel spit, and, you know, kind of the important thing of house. So thanks for tuning in.